Well, this is a beast of a kit. Uh, this is the new Bronco Models Buffalo 6x6 MPCV. Uh, originally released about two years ago in a plain version, which sold extremely well. This version has the slat armor upgrade and it also includes a little bonus of the crow's gun system. Um, this slat armor was available by, by lots of photo etch manufacturers, but if, like me, you're scared of photo etch, realistically, you need to get this kit. As the original kit has been around for some time, I'm not really going to concentrate that much on the original sprues because not a lot has changed. Uh, but I just will show you these two, some very nice moulding. Uh, this is the main cab floor, the roof of the main compartment, and the wheels, which are very unusual in the way they're moulded, in that you have the treads and sidewalls as separate parts. This enables a very good level of detail, and realistically, resin replacements aren't that necessary for this model. This is the etch brass threat, some of the clear parts, and the decal sheet. The decal sheet is far, far smaller than uh, the previous Buffalo release. Uh, I'm sure some of the original marking options would actually be applicable to this kit as well. Um, biggest weakness, I would say, on this kit is the decals and their instructions. The decals are very, very good quality, but the instructions don't really show where most of them go. In particular, there is one here which is for a learner driver training vehicle, and I can't see where those parts are... Those decals are actually meant to be applied on the model. You get two of these sprues and this is the first look at some of the slat armour. As can be seen you they have used a lot of injection points. Uh, I'll try and bring this in close to the screen and hope it focuses. Uh, that enables them to get a very very thin cross section to the parts. Uh, it will look very very realistic and be a lot easier to construct than the original. Also of note is that they've replaced the uh, Mud guards on this version. The mud guards are basically rubber sheets. On the original, were quite thick and didn't look much like uh, the proper thing. These are now super, super thin. Uh, they really do look very, very nice. Uh, I think removing these parts from the sprue, you're going to need a really good set of sharp sprue cutters to be able to do this successfully. Well, if like me, the thought of assembling etched brass sends you into shock, this is an absolutely wonderful way of representing slat armour. I do hope the manufacturer would consider producing some aftermarket sets to upgrade other kits to this kind of standard. Certainly the Trumpeter Striker family would look wonderful with this kind of slat armour applied. This version of the Buffalo is covered in LED spotlights. They're all over it. Certainly you won't be able to keep up on one of these unannounced. Um, this is the actual main parts of the plastic. Getting close. Representation really nice. These will look absolutely superb. Again, removing from the sprue is going to take a little bit of skill. Uh, so I say, really good quality sprue cutters are a necessity. This is an amazing piece of casting of the machine gun. Uh, I don't know if the gun it will pick it out, but that is actually pre-drilled all the way through. Beautiful use of slide mold technology. Well, that's it. That's my quick look at Bronco's new Buffalo kit. Uh, this one's actually courtesy of my own pocket. It's very rare you ever get me to spend money on a kit, but looking at this, well... Who wouldn't want to build one? Even a dedicated aircraft model has got to admit this does look a bit Mad Maxy. Uh, they do make a thing about the bonus gun system. Don't actually show you it fitted to the Buffalo, and none of the photographs I find actually show it. Uh, I'm sure it is accurate. I would love to be able to build it. I might anyway. One little bonus which isn't mentioned, though, is this one. I don't know if you can see these. A little sprue of clear water bottles found hidden in the bottom of the box. <laughs> nice one.